So you're back again. You've seen the headline, title, whatever you want to say. Toolbox Sword Part 2. We'll start with the Raptor drawer and we'll probably drop down to the spare or overflowing wrench drawer. And then we'll break. And the last two drawers, which is... Last two or three drawers, which are packed full of stuff, will be the best part of this tour. So make sure you like and subscribe for more, guys. All right, the ratchet drawer and some three eighths and a quarter inch extension that weren't up top. Yeah, so gear wrench, I believe this is the uh, 45 some piece, 50 piece ratchet and bit set, whatever you want to say. Really solid set. You see it there, gear wrench. Um, you can find them on Amazon. I will drop the link in the description below, as I said. That's why we're doing more than one part to this toolbox tour because y'all are going to get the good stuff i'm going to be sharing it right in front of it nothing special nothing fancy your pittsburgh harbor freight 3h quick type torque wrench i call it my wombat handle it is a pink striking pry bar handle from snap on one of my personal favorite ratchets it is 110 percent custom made from the head being swapped out all the way to the handle Personal favorite, the wife loves it as well. I've had this for a while, I guess way before it was cool. I've had this for a year now. The Astro Tools 78318. It is your 18 inch, 17 millimeter with the ring D10 in there. Flex head ratcheting wrench. And it just so happens, it goes conveniently with your six all the way to 24 millimeter. I think it's 24. Don't quote me on that. Let me look. Let me look. Yes. Six all the way to 24 millimeter. That six was backwards, by the way. Really, really convenient to have. Super low profile. The head's nice on this. I am waiting to see if they come out with a 22 millimeter for the half inch drive, which are over in the other box. Again, like and subscribe if you want to see that torque. It's going to be wicked. Most gimmicky tool of 2023. Pittsburgh from Harbor Freight. Quarter inch drive adapter. And it goes to like, I don't know, 14 inches long. Pretty cheap, pretty cheesy, but it works. The concept's great. Just your cheap Harbor Freight hand ratchets, palm ratchets, whatever you want to say, quarter inch and three eighths. Honestly, I'm not even sure where the half inch went. I think we broke it, putting a wrench or a big pair of pliers on it. You get your snap on, just your typical quarter inch adapter. I think it's, look at the part number, it'll tell us. Eight, eight inch. Yeah, and then your three eighths, just your random, Three-eighths drive extensions. Nothing fancy. Up front here is your random Harbor Freight crow's feet. Scored these on a steal of a deal for free. Just showing up one time. I forget how I got them, but they were free. Back here is another one of the wife's ratchets that I use quite often as well. Try and keep them clean. Just your standard three-eighths flex head with a pink hard grip handle. My personal favorite in grab and go. Always use this ratchet is your Matco Locking 3 8 Flex Head. BFR128 LF. I don't know if you need the little X or not, but there it is. USA Made shows you the flag. Locking Flex Head. Super low profile head design. Really nice ratchet. Really, really love the soft grip. Snap on's new 100 tooth soft grip kind of a new soft grip handle they put in the 100 tooth it's kind of a similar design to my coats more so rounded oblong whatever your snap on <clears throat> snap on mpr whatever multi-position ratchet i use this for accessories bell housing bolts transmission work i'm gonna have to get this warranty soon this one's getting pretty stiff there some of them teeth are 
rounding off. Probably because it's not used to, or not designed to be breaking loose transmission bolts and stuff on weird angles, but I do anyhow. 3 8 quick release palm ratchet or mini ratchet, whatever. Really handy to have. Another one of my homemade ratchets. Yes, it is a quarter inch screwdriver handle right over the old well original metal handle chrome handle ratchet long three or uh, long quarter inch i had to put that quarter inch handle in there for free my rep gave it to me i was like yeah i'm gonna put that on my ratchet so he gave it to me for free of course i put it on he was actually mind blown antique gear wrench ratchet i threw a little pencil grippy on works great really works great if you don't have a pencil grippy or a red piece of hose or any little piece of hose there's where the midget one goes which or a midget quarter inch palm ratchet whatever and then down here is the matco AFR 98 LFR USA made quarter inch locking flex head once again really nice ratchet love the handle design in the back you got brake uh, caliper holders caliper holders people spend like 20 bucks for the set of these off the truck I don't even know if they get them flexible like this or not I found these at Walmart guys go to your local Walmart you know Dick Sporting Goods, your hunting store, whatever. They're gear ties in the hiking section. You can do literally anything with them. Really flexible. When you're done with them, spray them off with brake, uh, brake cleaner if you want. If you don't want to, you don't have to, whatever. They're, they're really nice guys. Really nice. Versus your traditional homemade ones. <laughs> yeah. Here nor there. They're uh, really handy to have. In the back, as you see, every mechanic's got one of these. Really handy to have. It's your long pickup tool, grabber, whatever. My inch and a half mirror. There you are. There I am. You got your five pound, two and a half pound magnetic pickup tool. I have a few more and some with lighted ends, hidden below in case I need them. There is one of the uh, ball end sockets that we, or bits that we did, broke, broke the ball right off. Gonna cut that off and grind it down for a five millimeter, it'll be a spare one. These are the US Pro Super Lock sockets. If you haven't seen them, I suggest giving a like and subscribe and going and checking out the tour on them, the review, way, way down in the channel. Really nice where they put the knurling right here, so your fingers just kind of sit perfectly in that groove and you can turn it. US Pro, this is a United Kingdom socket set. Really nice to have, took a little bit to get here, but really nice to have. I needed it warranted out and I did it right away. I got a spare lighter from the wife. She gave this to me. It's nice to have a lighter in the drawer. Quarter inch torque wrench batteries that I don't have no more because it was a cheapo. Harbor Freight. Uh, these are for going in a ratchet or socket adapters. You can put them in a ratcheting wrench or whatever. A three quarter inch ratcheting wrench. Or any wrench in general, I guess. Or socket. A nine sixteenths. I think this little one was a 7 16th. Yeah, there we go. They're uh, pretty gimmicky, but I have used them a few times, I'm not going to lie. Spare throwaway fuses, because we always run through 15s. Your uh, Blue Point gift from the Snap One truck, quarter inch to a quarter inch adapter, or bit driver adapter, whatever you want to say. <coughs> Again, if you haven't, you see right here, this is another use for them. Go check them out, y'all. AlienSpaceSaver.com. I will uh, drop my 
affiliate link in the comment below. It really helps if you shop through my link. And again, guys, there is the ratchet drawer. Now we'll do the main wrench drawer that is still being worked on slowly. You got 10 all the way to 24. Find Drive Plus from Snap-on. Any Alien Space Savers. I have a spare four-way 22. That is for the brake caliper wind back sets and some other random sets like that. And pulling sets. Really universal size for pulling sets. Then for when all else fails, you got the 12 inch adjustable crescent wrench. Let's see, where can I get a part number for y'all at? FADH12B. Open to like 30 centimeters or 30 millimeters, something like that. 35 millimeters, really nice. I use it for a lot of stuff. If I can't get on a super big hydraulic line fitting, I will use that. Here and we're there. Really handy to have. Just your midget wrench set. I believe they call these ignition wrenches. You got your angle side and your straight side. It's like a two and a half all the way, 3.2 millimeter. I think the smallest ones, yeah, 3.2 millimeter. All the way to 10 slash 11. Really handy set to have. You ask why I have them. We have commercial pharmaceutical egg barns and all of our packing equipment and equipment in general is ran by industrial and industrial air compressor. So it is all air fed. We have quarter inch, three sixteenths, half inch, three quarters, one inch airlines running throughout the whole barn. So these really help for getting under the packing machines on them really small 3 16 and quarter inch fitting lines or the hoses are that size. The fittings for the lines are, you know, whatever, 5, 8, 9, 11 millimeter, really random awkward sizes because everything is made in Turkey. So it's just awkward. Here nor there. I guess we have a spare black alien space saver wrench organizer fin. Your blue point from the snap on truck. Eight all the way to 19 millimeter. Uh, I think these are 30 degree offset ratcheting wrenches, maybe 15 degree offset, whatever. Reversible ratcheting wrenches. Eight to 19 millimeter, it accommodates all sizes for most mechanics. Then following through you have the midgets as well which I'm a big fan of these because they fit in the palm nicely. All the way over to the left side, starting with the E-Torx, we have part number for y'all, just so you can get the uh, set. E5, all the way to, uh, I believe it was E18 or something. E18 and E20, I do use these Quite often, really nice to have. Then you start out way down here with the uh, double zero degree offset box film wrenches, snap on. This is an addition, the six and the seven. That was one addition to the set. Eight and nine was another addition. The set started at 10 to 20 millimeter. And I am waiting for my 21, 23, and 22, 24 to finish that set. And then you got, everybody knows what these are. Icon, Mountain, whoever, whatever. Everyone makes them. Your double flex head ratcheting wrench set with the, almost dropped it. With the spline drive. Really nice to have from Icon. I got these. Not from Harbor Freight, but uh, I scored these offline before they were cool, like two years ago or so, and they're really holding up nicely. Really nice. That is the main section of my roll cart wrench drawer. And this is the overflow. We'll go through this, and I guess that'll be it for the day. Drop you guys down a little bit to my view, my level. Haha, <laughs> much better. Excuse me while I get some... Uh, 
<clears throat> Pardon me. But, Grip Edge Tools, guys. There is definitely going to be a link below for this. Go check it out. These are the Grip Edge. There's your part number. GE14STSRPT. This is your 14-piece RPT torque set. That is rounding prevention technology. Look at the fancy designs on them torques. Almost like a Mac or BRT. These are a dual drive design, guys. Take out that messed up rusted fastener with a pretty much nothing to bite fast to of a head. And put in the new one with the same exact socket. Or nut, whatever you want to say. Same exact bit here. Really nice to have, guys. I suggest going and checking them out. GripEdgeTools.com Here you have your gear wrench. I'm not sure what piece, but I will drop a link below for this as well. I got this set because it's really nice to grab and go in the cars. It gives you your sockets, your flexible adapters, and then your bit drivers, of course. Really fancy set. I really like it. These I think you'll like. Astro Tools. Let's see if I can get a whole part number. Oh, yes. Astro Tools, 78354. Look that up on Amazon. I will put the link below. But uh, for like 150 bucks or whatever it was, 10 to 19 millimeter extra long swivel adapters or swivel sockets, whatever you want to say. Yes, I just keep that over there for uh, rusting purposes. They are super solid. If they made a half inch drive set, I would get them. And if they do and I'm not aware, Please drop a comment below and I will uh, gladly go check them out and get some. Just a spare snap-on air hose or a blow gun. Not really needed down there, but it was tossed there for some reason. We did a review on these. If you haven't liked, subscribed, and checked out our stuff, I suggest doing so. Capri Tools, 30 and 60 degree offset, four-way open-end angle wrench set. Got the four point design back here so it grabs four corners of the fastener or four sides versus a normal wrench just having a U back there and only grabbing two. This is grabbing four. Sadly, yes, that is a snap on. <laughs> this is like a $200 set of wrenches, but you really can't go wrong. It's got some nice chrome on there. Not the greatest chrome in the world, but it's nice. So you got 24 all the way down to your wee little 6 millimeter. No skips. Really nice set. I use them in the barn all the time. Over here is just a spare Alien Space Savers. New color of purple. What's left of my wrench organizers. And then the new to me gear wrench. 120 XP, uh, 120 XP extra long, I guess, box racing wrench. Fixed on one side, flexible ratcheting on the other, bust it loose with this, go to town with this, and it is again, like the icon, it is the spline drive features, so it can take out new, old, rusted, half-rounded, or half-removed and rounded fasteners, really works great. That is a 10, all the way to a 19 millimeter, really nice set, I am waiting to get an addition that is not flex head for this set. I would like them to have a flex head set of these, but, well, a flex head addition set of these, you know, the 20 to 24, but their additional set is not flex head. So until we figure out what we're doing for more wrenches and more organization in this drawer, I guess, y'all make sure you hit that little bell, like, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more. We're going to do uh, one more part in this toolbox tour of... We got plier drawer down here with some hammers, uh, brake and oil stuff down there, and then the power drawer I know you're all waiting to see. So make sure you go uh, like up Autotech Matt, follow and subscribe for more, y'all. Stay classy.